Hello students, welcome to computer science teacher class. In today's class, we are going to study about network operating system. So network operating system is a computer operating system that facilitates to connect and communicate various autonomous computers over a network. Whereas an autonomous computer is an independent computer that has its own local memory, hardware, and operating system. It is self-capable to perform operations and processing for a single user. They can either run the same or different operating system. This means network operating system usually is a any common operating system, but has a advanced configuration as compared to a normal computer which acts as a client in a network so when there are various operating system in a network they are which are involved in a group of computers in a network they may have a different operating system installed in them so definition of a network operating system is the network operating system mainly runs on a powerful computer that runs the server program. It facilitates the security and capability of managing the data, user, group, application, and other network functionalities. The main advantage of using a network operating system is that it facilitates the sharing of resources and memory amongst the autonomous computers in the network. It can also facilitate the client computers to access the shared memory and resources administered by the server computer. In other words, the networking operating system is mainly designed to allow multiple users to share files and resources over the network. So in a diagram, we can see that we are, when we are talking about a network operating system, which make the computer connected to a vast network of a computer related to a different units, different firms, and different institutions. So the functionalities of the network operating system are data and resource sharing, performance, security, robustness, scalability, and memory management. It has further functionalities over a general operating system which are installed in the client computers. Network maintenance. Now we will discuss the network maintenance issues in the operating system installed in the main service. Network maintenance basically means you have to do what it takes in order to keep a network up and running it includes a number of tasks. These are troubleshooting network problems, hardware and software installation, odd configuration, monitoring and improving network performance, planning for future network growth, creating network documentation and keeping it up to date ensuring compliance with company policies, ensuring compliance with legal regulations, securing the network against all kinds of threats. Network maintenance tasks can be performed in the following way. When as a network administrator, when we have to perform the network maintenance, so there are basically two tasks through which we can maintain our network and these are structure tasks and interrupt driven tasks whereas this structure means you have a predefined plan for network maintenance that will make sure that problems are solved before they occur as a network engineer this will also make your life a whole lot easy in interrupt driven it means you just wait for trouble to occur and then fix it as fast as you can Interrupt driven is more like the fireman approach. 
you wait for trouble to happen and then you try to fix the problem as fast as you can. A structured approach where you have a network maintenance strategy and plan reduces downtime and it's more cost effective. So out of these two different tasks, structured task is more cost effective because before the actual problem occurring in a network, we already have a solution for it. So we do not waste our time in research and locating the problem. We already knew the solution for the problem that may occur during the network. Choosing which network maintains, maintenance model you will use. To give you an idea what a network maintenance model is about and what it looks like, here's an example of FCAPS. Whereas this FCAPS stands for fault management, configuration management, accounting management, performance management, and security management. Let us study about the first management system, which is a fault management. We will configure our network devices such as routers, switches, firewalls, servers, etc. to capture logging message and send them to an external server. Whenever an interface goes down or the CPU goes above 80%, we want to receive an email so we can see what is going on. So to sort out the fault in our network, we are sharing the burden of a main server. Next is configuration management. Any changes made to the network have to be logged. We will use a change management so relevant personnel will be notified of planned network changes. Changes to network devices have to be reported and acknowledged before they are implemented. Just like the previous management, here we are sharing the load of a network administration officer or a network administrator and any decision or any changes made in a network is been logged and told to the all network administrators accounting management we will charge user for usage of the wireless network so they will pay for each 100 mb of data or something it's also commonly used to charge people for long distance VOIP calls. Here VOIP stands for voice over internet protocol. So accounting management take case of charging for uh, letting the network operating system services and uh, making it available for the users or guests. Performance management. Network performance will be monitored on all line and van links so we know when things goes wrong quality of service will be configured on the appropriate interfaces security management we will create a security policy and implement it by using firewalls vpns means virtual private networks intrusion prevention system and use AAA authorization, authentication, and accounting servers to validate user credentials. Network breaches have to be logged and an appropriate response has to be made. Here, the security is the most concerned topic when we talk about this networking of a computer. So in a network operating system, security management comes at the top and it has been implementing by the usages of firewalls virtual private networks and further intrusion prevention systems in which there's the authentication authorization and the accounting of a user are kept validated and checked and re double checked. So these were the 
introduction of network operating system in our next class we'll study about network security features and it career opportunities till then take care and stay safe thank you very much